Whoa, whoa. I am back. Let me check that we are actually live. And this will be an interesting one. Because this is a question that I see a lot. Yep, we are back online. So my friends, thank you for tuning in again. And this one, we've been waiting for it for a long time. Um, Zoom finally did an update to enable a great feature, I would think for a lot of people. That is to add external sources over the network or NDI, Network Device Interface. So as I share with you this, let me know where you're listening to this. Oh, my friends, here's the summary. Zoom normally just use the camera like here. So you're seeing me right now with two cameras. And the reason for that is that I have a digital SLR coming here and another camera here. And normally you will not be able to do that inside a Zoom session. You can do it with a broadcast, but you cannot do it inside a Zoom session. So when you do your webinars that you can bring sources or on your meetings or jazz it up or do different things. But one of the things that a lot of people has been asking for years from Zoom is to enable NDI services. And it looked like literally I, I just got a prompt that there was an update and I did an update and now you have the option. So I'm going to go here. So here you see my Zoom session. So a normal, regular Zoom session. And in the camera, voila. Now you can see an NDI video. So what this means is that you can have, if you have a, a video production team or you have someone else, let's say for a church, and you want to do Zoom for this, you can have your program to send the signal out. One of the things that I'm doing for this test is that I'm running everything through OBS. And in OBS, I am I, I created all the text and everything and it's sending it out. So what this means now that I have something else to play with to help you guys, because one of the biggest questions that I always get is, okay, how do I get like a lower third on a Zoom uh, video so it will appear and it will disappear or that you have a little bit more control so not just like put you on the bottom and on the top corner what about if you want to do like a third of yourself and then the rest for the presentation or if you want to do something else and bring multiple people in and then do a broadcast so all those things are opportunities that now get open because now zoom has that option that we could do that before uh, over any other program, but now for your videos, you will be able to do that directly within Zoom. So as I go through this, uh, this also opened the idea that I can do a virtual remote camera. There's virtual remote cameras for your phone. So I can actually bring that camera and be outside or doing something. So I was just thinking like, I have a friend of mine that he does exercises so he can put a camera somewhere else and he can just have it recorded himself on a different angle and he can just flip it and then he get a different angle so this opened a lot of new opportunities so my friends if this was something that you were looking i know that a lot of the people that i'm connected with on the church social media groups and different things like that were looking for this this was a big request from zoom so it looked like they just enabled it make sure that you update your zoom client because there were some changes that were coming from encryption and security and this, it look, they just slip it in. So give you NDI option for your uh, event. So my friends, it has been awesome seeing you again. And we'll see you on our next video.